In this problem, a ring of radius r having uniformly distributed charge q is mounted on a road suspended by two identical strings. The tension in the strings is in equilibrium is T0. Now a vertical magnetic field is switched on. So before switching the magnetic field, the tension in equilibrium is T0. After switching the magnetic field and the ring is rotated at constant angular velocity omega0, find the maximum angular velocity omega0 with which the ring can be rotated if the strings can withstand a maximum tension of 3 T0 by 2. So let us first understand how the tension will arise. In the first situation when there is no magnetic field, so there is no force due to magnetic field and it is simply for equilibrium initially. Initially we can write this total tension 2 T0 in each string, it is 2 T0. Net force applied by the string is 2 T0 and this is balancing the weight of the system. This 2 T0 must be equal to mg initially. Now what happens when we switch on the magnetic field and rotate this ring by some angular velocity omega naught? We know that a moving charge is equivalent to a current and this rotating and this rotating charge is now can be taken as equivalent to a current and this current uh, we can find like this. So equivalent current in the circuit. Equivalent current I is equal to. So total charge is Q and since it is moving with constant angular velocity so time period T Q divided by T this will be the equivalent current and this T can be written as 2 pi divided by this omega naught. So this is the equivalent current for this ring and due to this current there will be a magnetic moment of this loop. Current will be since current is along the flow of positive charge and this charge is let us assume as positive and it is rotating like this. So direction of current is also like this in the loop. So this is the direction of current and magnetic moment of a loop m is equal to i multiplied by current. So i multiplied by area. So current multiplied by this area and direction is according to the flow of current since flow of current is like this. So direction of magnetic moment will be in this direction. So its magnetic moment will be like this. Magnetic moment i and i is q omega naught by 2 pi and the area is pi r square. So pi and pi is cancelled and this magnetic moment has magnitude q omega naught r square by 2. This is the magnitude of the magnetic moment and we know that due to magnetic moment in magnetic field there is a torque on this current carrying loop and torque is given by torque due to this magnetic field is given by m cross b and this torque is basically generated by the force couples on this uh, ring since in the uniform magnetic field net force on a loop is always zero so net magnetic force is zero so net magnetic force is zero that means the force is due to the force couples we can just take idea about this force couples this is the ring and since at this location the current is something like this it is out of the plane like this so current is like this and this is the direction of dl vector so this is the direction of dl vector towards me and b vector is like upward so dl vector is uh, so b vector is like this and this uh, dl vector is like this dl cross b will be the force so this is the direction of dl upwards this is b dl cross b is like this so force is like this on the lower points dl will be inverse and force will reverse its direction so direction of forces are something like this on this ring 
and this will make the force couples and due to this this ring will try to rotate like this it will go like this we can also see the direction of torque by m cross b this m is like this b is like this and m cross b from m to b so this is the direction of b and this is the direction of magnetic moment so it will be like this so it is rotating like this so if this ring is rotating like this then ring is attached by this rod also so this rod will also turn like this it is turning in the anti clockwise sense so extra torque on the rod is generated by the magnetic field and this torque is in the anti clockwise sense we can see the direction from this force couples we can see the direction from this m cross b and the direction is coming out to be in the anti clockwise sense and since this anti clockwise torque is generated then tensions will no remain same in the two strings it will differ so that the torques are balanced now <coughs> calculate this torque so magnitude of torque will be m and b are perpendicular so sin 90 and this will be simply m into b and m is q omega naught r square by 2 and multiplied by this uh, magnetic field b now the equilibrium equations net weight is still the same so total tension will still balance the weight mg suppose tension here in this string is t1 and it is t2 if we increase the value of omega so tension in one of the strings will increase in which string the tension is increasing we can see this rod is try to rotate like this and this tension has to be increased to pull back the rod upwards otherwise the rod will turn like this it will tilt like this in the anti clockwise sense we can also confirm by this if we balance the torque about the center point then we have extra anti clockwise torque due to this this is the anti clockwise torque and this t1 will apply a clockwise torque about the center and this t2 will apply the anti clockwise torque net anti clockwise torque should be equal to net clockwise torque so anti clockwise torque is applied by this magnetic force which is q omega naught b r square by 2 and anti clockwise torque is also applied by this t2 tension this is string and which will be t2 l by 2 and all this is being balanced by this t1 so t1 l by 2 so naturally it is visible that t1 is greater than t2 and if we increase the value of this omega then t1 has to increase and if t1 has to increase then it can go up to a maximum value which are which is given as 3t naught by 2 so t1 maximum can be 3t naught by 2 in that case if t1 is 3t naught by 2 then t2 is t naught by 2 because this two should add up to 2t naught and 2t naught should be equal to mg so from the equilibrium equation t1 plus t2 is always equal to mg and this mg is equal to 2t naught so if it is 3t naught by 2 then we can say that this will be t naught by 2 so in this equation we know the value of t1 we know the value of t2 now and if you put t1 is 3t naught by 2 then this will give the maximum value of omega possible for this situation so let us put all the values and find the value of omega so finally q omega naught b r square by 2 this is equal to this t1 is 3t naught by 2 into l by 2 minus so uh, i am taking this distance as l which is given in the problem as uh, distance d so let us write the correct notation for the problem it is capital d it is capital D it will be capital D and it will become t naught by 2 t2 is t naught by 2 it will be d by 2 so finally we can calculate omega 
not maximum and this maximum value will come out as t not d divided by q br square so this is the final answer to this problem